I'd like to call the Physical Services Committee to order. Uh, Mark Kelly, Brian Sweet, Roy Diamond, Robert Edwell, John Duchesne, Mike Pepp, Robert Kelly. Uh, discussion. Is that no discussion? We'll move to the first item. Resolution offerings the county exec to sign the 2022 insurance renewal contract for the Montgomery County Sanitary District 1. No sponsor. Legislators, please. Legislator Pat. Second by. All those in favor of moving it to a full board? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? <clears throat> Next item resolution offering authorizing the county exec to sign a change order for. Cemetery Drive Bridge Replacement, Construction Support and Inspection, Public Service. Do need a sponsor? Martin Kelly? I'll second it. Legislator Sweet. Okay. Yes, sir. Any other discussion? Where, where is that located, Karen? Down the floor. Down the floor, yes. Eric said that. Um, okay. All those in favor of moving to a full board? Aye. 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 Both abstain. Oh. Uh, next item: resolutioning revolution. Resolution of appointing a member of Montgomery County Sanitary District Board of Directors. That's about you. Legislator Sweet, and Legislator Diamond. Any other discussion? All those want to move that to the full board. Aye. Uh, Aye. Opposed. Abstain. We have two add-ons here. Uh, resolution authorizing the county exec to sign an agreement with the Montgomery County Sanitary District 1 treatment of disposal of leachate from the landfills located in Montgomery County. I have a sponsor, Legislator Peck. Legislator Sweet, second. Any other discussion? All right, we'll want to move that to the full board. Aye. Aye. Opposed? Staying? So moved. All right, and the next add-on resolution is a resolution authorizing the county exec to sign an intermunicipal agreement with a leachate disposal with the village of Canada area. Uh, I need a sponsor. Legislator Sweet, Legislator Pat. All those in favor of moving it to a full board? Opposed? Abstain? Uh, anything other? other? Uh, I need a motion to adjourn. Legislator Sweet. Legislator Pepp. <coughs> Chairman Pepp. It's up to you, Martin. Okay. Uh, I call the Health and Human Services Committee to order, or Committee of the Whole. Uh, if there isn't any discussion uh, from uh, the members of the legislature, we'll move right on to uh, resolutions. Resolution amending the 2022 operating budget carryover grant funds, PHEP, Public Health. On the first sponsor, uh, Legislator Sweet, Legislator Wilson. Discussion? Hearing none. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Carried. Next is resolution amending the 2022 operating budget carryover grants, COVID IAP, Public Health. Sponsor? Uh, Chairman Pep, seconded by Legislator Wilson. Discussion? Hearing none. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Carried. Next is resolution amending the 2022 operating budget carryover grant funds. <coughs> OD2A grant. Public health. Sponsor? <coughs> I'll sponsor. Is there a second? Uh, Legislator Sweet. Discussion. Barn Oh, sorry. Go ahead. It was almost <coughs> oh, nine thousand dollars in mileage. Is this typical, or is this something that's? What is is this money for? Like now to August, or is this from the whole? You know, is it just six months, or is it the whole whole time? I assume it's what's left over from the grant that began in September. Yeah. So they're just carrying it forward to, over from yeah, to year. Year. because the grant runs from September 1st of last, or August 31st, they're just carrying it forward. 
Because my question would be the same thing. Ninety thousand dollars. That's that's almost at fifty-eight cents a mile. That's it's twenty thousand miles. miles. Well, case workers, well, right? But when you have, even when you have, a, they have a car too. Oh, no, that's true. Well, it's just moving it over. Yeah, not necessarily spending, but it's giving them the option to spend it, I suppose, or, or carry it over and move it at some other time, right? Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Any other discussion? Uh, Hearing none, all those in favor? Uh, uh, right. Opposed, abstain? Carried. Next is resolution amending the 2022 operating budget carryover grant funds, rabies. I look for a sponsor, Legislator Wilson. I'll second it. Discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Uh, right. Opposed, abstain? Carried. Anything under other? If not, motion to adjourn. Legislator Sweet, Legislator Wilson. XL6. Okay, we'll call the Education Government Committee to order at 606. Any of the whole, any discussion before this committee? Hearing none, move right on to the resolutions. First resolution, resolution confirming members of Montgomery County Criminal Justice Coordination or Coordinating Council. It's from the Department of Probation and the sponsor. Chairman Peck, second. Let's <coughs> Wilson, discussion. Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Carry. Next resolution is a resolution confirming appointments made by the County Executive to Montgomery County Soil and Water Conservation Board of Directors. Need sponsor? I'll sponsor. Let's have Rotel, second. Let's have Diamond, discussion. Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Carry. Next resolution is a resolution appointing member Montgomery County Law Library Board of Trustees. We need a sponsor. Sponsor. Let's have Kelly. Let's have Patel. Discussion. Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Carried. Next resolution a resolution appointing member of Montgomery County Jury Board. We need a sponsor. I'll sponsor. Let's have Kelly. I'll Chairman Pepp. Discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? <coughs> so carried. Next resolution is a resolution appointing member of the Montgomery County Agricultural and Farmland Protection Board. I'll sponsor. Need a second? Let's have a tell. Discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? So carried. And we have one other resolution for appointments. It's a resolution appointing a member of the legislative to Cornell Cooperative Extension of <coughs> Fulton and Montgomery Counties Association Board of Directors. I'll sponsor me a second. I'll second. Let's tell discussion. Is it? Yes, it's a good question. Thank you. Any other discussion? All those in favor? All right. All right. Opposed? Staying? So carry anything under other? I had something, Chair. Go ahead. I didn't, I didn't know we're having the education government, so I'm not uh, fully prepared. But um, oh, <clears throat> under uh, old business, under the rules of order, I was wondering if we can remove uh, the first part where uh, the Robert's rules of order shall govern the county legislature, uh, simply because we don't follow Robert's rules on several um, several of the protocols that we have here. Um, number one being, in Robert's rules, if uh, a resolution is loaded up or down, we don't do that for committees. It always pushes through. Um, Robert's rules said roll call and you say present. Um, the other thing with Robert's rules, it's either yay or nay, or aye or nay, which we don't do. So I thought, what would you like to replace it with? I would just like to remove that part. I think that's probably something we'd be best served by hearing from our attorney about. I'm assuming there must be some sort of rules for 
exactly what this does or is or what we're doing here. I believe from the past what it was is that there's a road that goes through the old beach up property mm -hmm. and what we're doing is we've in the past have given license or, or permission to certain people to be able to use that road to get to the wastewater plant and back mm -hmm. so that when they're done taking out the, I looked at the resolution system about taking material out once they're done that will be taken away so then they can't travel back in there. And that's the problem to do something with liability and other things because they're going across the county. So is this the, the property west of Ron Allen that they're filling in or they're going to be using that property to, to No, using this, this is to go across the beach up property right. into the landfill or into the wastewater plant, is it? It's, what is, it's, it's the same okay. access that we gave. Right, yeah. Yeah. But what is Ron Allen going to the wastewater but they must be doing work there. But my question is, by licensing, uh, giving permission or licensing the, the village of Kanjahari to use that right of way or easement, I would think that your, your vendors and contractors would be covered under that. So, I mean, who, who, where did this originate from? Did this originate from Megan or? Yes. So, yes, yeah, so it's for the purpose of, oh, sorry. It uh, says for the purpose of removing fill from the Kanjari wastewater treatment plant. And that's what you're saying. If you had a contractor, that would be for the, for the village. I, I'm not an attorney and I don't play one on TV. But you did stay at a holiday in the express. But I mean, the rights of an easement should go along with your employees, should go along with your contractors. But Megan must have some reason. I mean, she's not. I think when we did this before, we had a whole list of people that we approved to, to use that yeah. right away. I think we're just, again, okay. adding to that list, and again, when they're done, removing... So I, I, I might like the new advantage for what I'm discussing. What's that? What was that? Oh, we already have a sponsor. We already have a sponsor. We're just in discussion on that. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Same? Okay. And the last resolution, a resolution approving the abstract of audited claims. Sponsor? Mark Kelly. Uh, Legislator Wilson. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Same. I didn't want Legislator Pertel to get this too early. Because he wouldn't have paid attention during the whole meeting until <laughs> so you're in then, huh? The last two are in. 
So the lab, everything has been in, and it looks like the sales tax is going to be $40,842,731. You can see it's a 17% increase. Um, and then off to the side again, you can see um, the increases and decreases um, from each, each month. So, so just to refresh my memory, these are actual numbers, not budgeted numbers. That Correct. These are, these are the Sorry. actual numbers from, from Sean on the sales tax price. And what did we budget this year? 30, 31.5. So did we get, what, 60% of this? Which is 24 million. I mean, it's all good. But 58, what did you get, 58 or 60? I believe it's 60. 60. So we're you know, kind of last month when those last two installments were still waiting to come in. That's we're looking at like 40 million, 600,000 something. So I, mean, I, I I'm sure that people are going to look at this and get excited that we've got um, a lot. But I've also been talking yeah. to Sean, and I'm going to try to get some comparison numbers and some other things from him so we can keep we can share and see what, see where we're going and looking at what the fund balance has been, where, where we're going with it, and kind of um, have a really good uh, picture of that. Your your amended budget on expenditures also is under four million. Correct. So your yeah. expenditures are up. Yeah. Six million dollars. Budget. Yeah. But I mean that's why I asked Sean that we can start to compare what we've what the budget was, how much fund balance we applied, how much we actually used, what was left over, and try to get as much of that and from April May we'll have a better uh, handle on where we're at with this. So, I'm anxious to see the odd, yeah. you know, just to see what, how, where things settle based on the moves we made in the last couple of months, the contracts, you know, you know, things of that nature. So that'll give us a good look at, at where we're at. <clears throat> okay. uh, one other thing I had was, and I we brought this up before, is you can see on here the state aid, um, state aid DSS, state aid other federal aid. Um, we're, I mean, when Sean's here, we ask Sean, um, you know, where, where, where the accounting figures are. Are they two months behind or three months behind? You know, have they, where are they at that point? Um, I would love to be able to, that, I would love to be able to have Martin we be able to get some kind of email, get something from the commissioner, you know, saying where, where they are at that point. Maybe you already have the information. No, I don't have the information. What I'm planning to do with uh, Health and Human Services, because it's not just DSS. They're the ones that we always call to the carpet. I think we need to become uh, more knowledgeable, not only about DSS, but also public health. So I was as the year progresses, uh, going to try to get them to come to quarterly to give us uh, reports on where they are, and uh, like public health and mental health and DSS, because those are very important pieces of our budget, and they rely a lot on reimbursements, and we need to make sure that we're fully uh, capitalizing on those uh, reimbursements. Do you think a quote each quarter is, a, I mean, for them to come or just be able to send you an email well, saying? Yeah, there can be an email, but I think that what Sean provides, because he is our chief financial officer, I think getting these monthly and then having them come quarterly, and if we feel they need to come more often, um, you know, because they do, they do submit monthly, you know. I'd like to see, first, I'd like to see them email you on a monthly, but come quarterly and, and explain where they're at at that point. If they're up to date, yeah. that's perfect. But I just hate to see us go four months, then they come, and they'll be three months behind or two months behind, and then we don't see them for another, for, you know, but three months. Know, so we would know if they're falling behind from these dashboards. Right. Yeah. I think and, and I don't think that they have fallen behind now that, 
They have made some uh, staffing changes in DSS. I don't think that they have fallen behind to where they were a few years ago when they were half half a year behind. Yeah, see, I mean. But they're still not meeting the, the, the deadlines of what, of what we had put in place. I don't think they've met those deadlines pretty much all year. According, but, but they can't submit according to the deadlines that we're setting. Like the federal government tells you when this is open and when, you know, when you're able to report. But they can't submit December until they have all the stuff in, in January, which could delay it. This one is through October. It should be through November. And, and you know, know what I mean? next week, it probably will be because of yeah. the way that the closeout falls according yeah. to our every, you know, when we meet. These dashboards were probably run as of last Friday or something like that. So yeah. it's all on when the date closes yeah. for when they're submitting. So why can't we experience you getting a monthly report to tell you where it is and on a quarterly basis they come and give a live report? Okay. Yes, yeah, so as of 12-31-21, that's the numbers, but I mean, I think Sean improvises on the comment sheet. Oh. If he knows that they, that's what's on the comment sheet, though. Right. So now you submit. Oh, as oh I'm sorry. Right. Yeah. Yep. Now you submit as of October. What in government turns around, you know, within a week and cuts a check? It, you know, some of the reimbursement also falls this is like three weeks ago. Hmm? This is like three weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah. So you're right. It could be uh, already uh, submitted. To yeah. Them. Yeah. But I, I, I have no problem getting a, a, a monthly uh, report from them and sharing it. And uh, but I do think it's important that we have them come in quarterly. And you know, I, I think we learned some of the things that may have gone on longer than I would have liked it to, but we learned uh, some important things with uh, the safety net programs that they have with DSS. I just think it was, makes them more responsible of what's going on instead of Sean being oh, the oh. scapegoat. For, no, I, it's I, an accountability thing. You no, know, I, 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 I agree, but I also think that we can't just single out. No, no, I mean, so. I agree 100% with that. That's good. Um, the other thing that, that I have for discussion is um, we talk about sales tax money, and then, you know, we're talking about these marijuana dispensaries and different things that are going on throughout the county and have other municipalities opted out of it or you know, does anyone is there quick, does anyone know the ones that are opted out? The only one I know is Town of Amsterdam, which Bobby's probably aware of. They, they said no places to use it, but they didn't opt out of the dispensary, correct? Correct. They only opted out of on site use. Use. So they're so they uh, they have yeah. opted out of the of, of sale of it. Right. Town of Glen did though, right? Yeah. That, or the bill and, and your golden bill. She wants to do it, right? We saw that in the paper. Well, there's a question that, that you know we started to look at is we don't want to we don't want to do something in our neighborhood, but we want to reap the benefits of the sales tax. I, I think that you're not entitled to the sales tax revenue from any of the sales in the county of cannabis. So, if, if for instance, town of Glen. Um, out. So out, my, my understanding is that that portion of that sales from Montgomery County, they don't receive. So the state is, is keeping track of what the, what the sales? That's my understanding. I remember Demez's first uh, statements about this last June was, I don't need a dispensary in my town. Uh, I'm still going to get reimbursed by percentage of the sales tax which dovetails with what you're saying, but not necessarily with what Bob's saying that maybe they've improved, you know, they, they've altered it and said, if you opt out, you don't, you don't get to share also. I mean, keep in mind, we're the only county that shares, I think, with the other municipalities, aren't we? Sales tax? Mm-hmm. I don't think there's a lot of other arrangements like that. So they don't need to, you know, make a wholesale statement in the state of New York to say, Okay, if you opt out, if you're a small uh, municipality, you opt out, you don't get the, your, your cut of the, your county's sales tax because if it's, if it's sold someplace else in the county because nobody else does that. I 
and the conventional language didn't do that. But I guess it's, it's a point to, to pay attention to, but we don't have any control whether it's what I'm thinking it is or, or what you're thinking of. I'm, I'm just thinking, if, if, I mean, this is the only, this issue is where one came up to. I mean, it's like, you know, I don't want to have a truck stop in my neighborhood because, you know, of bringing trucks in, but, you know, but we want you to put it over in, I don't want it in, my, in District 4, but you can put it in District 9, but District 4 wants as much sales tax revenue yeah. out of that as we, we can. I mean, we're all supposed to be working as a county and as a whole. I think it was meant to discourage opting out, to be honest with you. I mean, if you see any more information on it, I mean, it would be, you know, nice to see. I mean, if it's, you know, but... Well, maybe we probably look into that law too, when she gets back, you know, for us. Our other comments out there, I'll be more for us, people coming here. Yeah. I mean, I mean, they're only going to set up so many dispensaries in the state, from what I understand. You know, not everybody can get one. So. We didn't get a casino. We wouldn't be needed to. So, I mean, I, and I don't know what the criteria is going to be as to who gets one. So you don't go there at the uh, sales tax. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? That's a couple college line to ever. You don't know whether they're going to segregate by sales by your right. 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 Like if you do your car to uh, register your car through the mail or on the internet or any of that, you don't get the registration. But every county does not get the revenue. No, 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 no. But sales taxes. Is, is. Anyway, it's a good discussion. Um, are we moving on? Yeah. What, where, you know, we have, I brought up the discussion about uh, seeing where the city of Amsterdam is with their. Of payments. Do we expect to do that? Am I the only one that wants that? No, I think it was a good point you made, and we just got to make sure it's showing I'm going to put it on the dashboard. Are we putting it on the dashboard, and where would it show up on the dashboard? Sean said it's already on the dashboard when I made him aware of your desire to do this. It might be under intergovernmental yes, charges, it is. but that doesn't tell us no. whether they paid or, or, or how much they paid or what they got. I think that the, the best thing that you could really do is contact Sean or talk to Sean and the, both of your the minds get together and, and see what you're what you're looking for and what he can produce and see if you can he can put it on a comment sheet. He did. Yeah. 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 You know, I mean, it's part of the dashboard, you know. But then he, but the thing is is you'll be able to tell Sean exactly what you're looking to see and see if he can put that as a comment on the I just want to see that the city of Amsterdam is paying what they agreed to pay. It's easy because we're taking out a sales tax amount and asking for a check. Right. So we want to make sure that one we we started that and that we you know we don't lose sight of it. Right. We don't want to end up with that again. That's all I have. I just want to uh, remind everybody about tomorrow. I know I sent out extensive texts late last week, but we, uh, those of you who plan on coming, we need to be there at 1020 tomorrow. And uh, just to reiterate, I believe from what they told me, we will be put in a pew in the back. Uh, the casket will be in the vestibule. Uh, people, you know, we have to get out of the way so people can enter into the church and pay our respect to the casket if they desire on their way to a pew. Then once 11 comes, we will be filed out of our pew and we will lead the casket down the um, aisle and then uh, an usher will usher us into a reserved pew where we will sit. And then we will likely, we will lead the casket back down the aisle. The, the sheriffs will be on the casket with their hands on it. You know, they're the uh, active pallbearers, we're the honorary <coughs> pallbearers. And that's all we really need to know, you know, at this point. So. Uh, you know, I don't think there's anything, unless anybody has a question. Uh, I think we got to wear masks, just for those of you who, whether your church is still happening in church, where you got to wear masks. 
So, just want to remind you. Thank you. Motion to adjourn. So moved.